Hey you, how's the search going? Oh, it's not good. <laughs> Jesus Christ, there's some strange people out there. Yeah, that was pretty rotten of Dougie to just leave you in the lurch like that. Exactly. It's pissing me off still thinking about it every night. Listen, I'm sure the right person will come along soon. I've got to get back to work, but I'll see you this weekend, yeah? Hopefully. Yeah. Alright. Alright, I'll catch you later. Alright. Alright, bye-bye. Bye. 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 Hey man, I'm Louie. I'm here with the room you've advertised. Oh, nice to meet you, mate. I'm Harry, by the way. Uh, come in and have a look around and we can have a chat about rent and other boring stuff. So, just a quick tour. Uh, you've got the bathroom just at the end there. Uh, my room's round there. Your room is going to be round the corner. And the living room's just through here. So what happened to the original guy? Oh, him. You don't have to worry about him. He left me right up Ship Creek. Don't even want to waste my time talking about him, to be honest. Okay, well, in case you're wondering, I'm a pretty reliable guy. <laughs> That's good. I'm telling you, you're the only sane person I've met all day. Well, all seems done to me then. Uh, now, boring stuff. Uh, rent is £350 a month, but we split all the bills. So, um, I've got your number. I'll give you a call if you want to confirm everything. Okay, great. Hi, mate. Have you just moved into the building? Um, I'm hoping to move into number 17. Oh, right, okay. Why do you say it like that? Well, I wouldn't really like to say, but that Harry bloke. I've lived next door to him now for a while. He's a nightmare, you know, constantly screaming, arguing all the time. I mean, I've put no end of complaints into the landlord. Nothing seems to get done about it. I just... <laughs> this one time, I've even heard a woman screaming. I call the police. Really? But Harry, he seemed like such a laid-back guy. Mm, mm, well, you know, I've known him for quite a while, and you seem like a nice guy. I wouldn't want you to do anything stupid, you know what I mean, before someone at least told you. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, thanks for the warning. No worries. But listen, eh? I might be seeing you again soon, yeah? See you later, mate, yeah? Sorry I'm late, I had a nightmare of the traffic and your lift's been playing up as well, but I'm here now anyway, so... so sorry mate, who are you? I'm Richard, I'm here to see the apartment we spoke. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 come here. Yeah. I'll show you around. Well, um, that's everything then. You sure you don't want to have more of a look around? No, so when can I move in then? Well, uh, you see, the thing is, uh, I just saw this guy before who I've kind of promised a room to, so now I've got a bit of a decision to make, that's all. Well, uh, listen, take your card, you know, it's got me details on. I've been let down in situations like this before, so just give me a call if anything changes, yeah? All right. Oh, sorry, mate. Yeah, I'll just show you out now. Harry, I forgot to say before, uh, listen, I've got the three months rent there up front ready as well, you know. Does that make any difference? Okay, um, sounds great. You know, listen, you've got my number anyway. Call me, yeah? All right. All right, mate. Cheers, mate. See you later. Bye. Bye. Hey. Hey. How are you? Fine, how are you? Good. So, have you decided on a flat, mate? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe mine up last night, actually. Can I bring Louie now and tell him the good news? Well, I don't... I couldn't bear it. <sighs> Knew it. No answer. <laughs> Drop my taxi instead. Lauren? Am I putting the cat on? Liberties. Well, since you got behind it, it was on, you know, you got behind Wool Week. Yep. It, wool is now on the fashion walks of Paris, Milan, and London. Everybody's wearing what it. What the fuck? Of the countryside. It's What's up? <laughs> He's just texted me back saying, sorry, not interested in nothing else. Bastard. <sighs> well, I'm going to have to ring Richard. I mean, he was the next best option and the room needs filling. The dusty plains of southern India for the venue for one of nature's most astonishing plants. It's an unusual face-off.
that, mate. Never been that old. Yeah, that's rather late, me, mate. <laughs> See that. Hey, have you got your bag? Yeah, it's fine. Right. Cheers. All right, mate. No problem. Tony George, there's something off about him, you know. I haven't seen him for five weeks now. God, he's that bad, mate, surely. He's not causing any trouble, is he? No, it's not like he's doing anything in particular. It's just strange that you live with someone and you don't see them for weeks. Now, you can't tell me that's not him. I suppose, but he hasn't really done anything for you to kick him off, though, has he? Well, you say that, mate, but when you're really drilling at three in the morning, you start to fear for yourself. True, mate, he's out to kill you. <laughs> Open the fucking door or shut the fuck up taking the piss now. Sleep, can you let me know next time, please? What the fuck are you talking about? There was no party. Glue's at work, sorry. What's up, Jen? Noise, that's what's up. I'm sorry, look, it's this other guy. I'm not interested, it's been going on for far too long. I've took up the landlord, so you're just going to have to get in contact with him. Look, it's not me that's making all the noise, it's driving me just as crazy as well, you know? I've never even seen this Richard guy before, you're talking shit, Harry. The sooner the landlord gets rid of you, the better.
bad enough now. You kept me up every single night. What the fuck are you playing at? Open this door now. You think it's alright to spy on people? I'm telling you, get the fuck out now, otherwise I'm coming in. Right, you've got three seconds to open the door, otherwise I'm coming in. Three, two, one. Ah, you cunt! I've got him now, it's gonna be okay. What? Yeah. You should eat something. It's not good for you and you'll feel better once you've done it. Why did it have to happen to me? What have I ever done to anyone? I don't know. But look, we're gonna get through this. Wait, you've not even been here? You've never even met the bloke. This is all on me. I've got to deal with this. Hey, that's not fair. I've been busy. That's not fair. Look at my fucking hand. That's not fair. Harry, you're starting to scare me. Calm down. God, if the police hadn't got here first, I'd have fucking killed the bloke. I'm gonna go. You need to calm down and I'll send you a drink. Yeah, go on. Fuck off. You can't even give a shit just trying to pass it all off onto George. Are you fucking kidding me? You're on your own. You better not piss George off or you really will have no one. Is that you? Robert! Sorry, I'm just a little bit jumpy at the moment. How are you? What are you doing around here anyway? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Well, I, I don't live too far from here now, actually. Uh, are you alright? You seem a little bit stressed. <sighs> Nothing's up. I'm just a little bit stressed. My boyfriend keeps snapping at me and, well, you know, he's really starting to push me away. Well, you should be more careful. He doesn't realise how lucky he is to have you. You shouldn't have to put up with that, do you? Stop it, you. You're just stressed, that's all. Come on, I know what you need. Do you remember that time when the first date I took you on, 281, and you had that pink panther? I bet you could go for one of them right now. Fuck it, why not? Who are you anyway? 